properties of rational exponents part du. So we started working on this problem, and I asked you guys to use the properties that you knew. And some weird stuff happened. People said, well, can you do 6, six divided by 3 is 2? Can you do that? Because, look, the exponents are the same. And people asked, Miss, uh, can you multiply this times this? Because the bases aren't the same, but the exponents are the same. Remember that the rule is this as far as that goes. right? If you're going to... If you're going to have x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m plus n, if you're wondering, can I apply this rule here, x and x? It doesn't say, that, look, as a matter of fact, it doesn't say anything about the exponents having to be the same. The bases have to be the same, and 6 is not equal to 4, and therefore it can't be done. And neither can this. And there are different strategies we can use, but we can't use this one. So that's okay. So what I wonder is, can you do this? Can we do this? Can we break it out like this one? Can we say 6 times 4 to the 2 thirds? That is to say, here, and I'm going to just put this piece back here. Just This is not the piece at the bottom. It's not the piece I'm questioning right this second. The piece at the top, can we distribute? The question is, are exponents distributable over multiplication? So forget about the fact that we are here. Let's pretend for a second we started here. And I know that you want to multiply these two things together, but if I had a times b to the two-thirds, what would you do? Are you allowed to distribute from here to here and from here to here? And we know that the answer here is yes. We know that the answer is that exponents are distributive over multiplication. In that case, then we can factor them out also. So that's what's happening here. This two-thirds and this two-thirds, it's this one, right? This is the same two-thirds. It's this two-thirds right here. And if we factored it back in, it would go to here, and there it is, and it would go to here, and there it is, isn't it? So then what I'm going to do is this. 6 times 4 is 24. It's 24. So 24 to the two-thirds power, right? Two-thirds power. Here's our fraction bar, our solidus, if you will, is here and 3 to the 2 thirds power. Let me ask you this question, friends. Is this possible? Can we... Now what I have my eye on is this. I have my eye on 2 thirds here to the 2 thirds power and to the 2 thirds power here. And I'm wondering, are exponents distributive over, over division? And we know that we have this rule. A over B to the power of M is the same as a to the power of m over b to the power of m. And the reason I wrote it in this direction is I started here, but because I'm looking at this, I'm going, if I found this, because we did, can I pull it out? And the answer is yes. So, so we're going to do this. And I think it's this is really starting to work out. You guys are getting really, really good at this. Uh, if you're a little bit lost with me right now, all sarcasm aside, please go back and find the rules of exponents. Come back to the video, but bring those rules of exponents with you, and I'll show you. It's that one, it's this one, it's this one, it's this one. I'm going to keep trying to talk about the rules that we're using each time. So now we have 24 over 3, right? The whole thing to the 2 thirds power. Again, pretend that we started here. R exponents. I, I get that they're rational exponents, but the rules still apply. Are exponents distributive over division? And the answer is yes. And if they can be distributed, then they can be factored back out. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 to the 2 thirds is what? How can we write this? Well, we know this. We have this rule. It says x, let me, x to the mn power is the same as the nth root right? Numerator is the index, x to the m. So I'll just transfer this into that. So we have the cube root of 8. And we know the cube root of 8 is what? 2 squared, right? And it doesn't matter how you, it doesn't matter how you're going to do it, right? If we do it this way, let's say we do it this way, we do cube root of 8 is 2, and then we square it with this. We put this 2 here. So we do this first, and we say, what is the cube root of 8? And we say 2, and we get answer 2. And then after that, we still have this 2 left to apply, and 2 squared is 4, isn't it? Or what if you did this? What if you did 8 squared is 64? So 64, 8 squared is 64, I replace that. What is the cube root of 64? 4. We're in good shape. 
There's a fun, it's, it's the greatest thing because there are so many correct ways to get to the same place. All we have to do is memorize the rules, apply the rules. When we get confused, stop for a second and ask yourself, what rule does this resemble? And, and test, 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 test. Good work. Keep working.